Joining us now is the Deputy Chief Investment Officer at Common Fund, Nick DeMonico. Common Fund serves nonprofit institutions, universities, endowments. Two examples, Nick is head of marketable alternatives. He's responsible for $2.5 billion of hedge fund investments, and he's sitting right beside me here in the newsroom. Nick, thanks so much for coming in to talk to us this morning. We just got this breaking news that Jordan's PM has resigned. King Abdullah asking a former PM to form a new government. We're watching this in addition to what we are watching in Egypt this one million man march. What does this do to you as a fund of funds manager? Well, I think uh, you're very interested in what happens in emerging markets all the time. I think the one thing that we were focused on last week was, of course, it was a very bad week for Egyptian stocks. I think on Thursday, the market there was down 10 and percent. And during the month of January, the market was down almost 21. But if you look at emerging markets overall uh, for the month of January, they're only down about one and a half percent. And last week, while all this was going on in Egypt, markets are down about 80 basis points. So it's not great, but it's not a disaster. So, um, I mean, I know you're invested in about 60 funds. I mean, they vary as far as products go, asset class, geography. When you reached out to hedge fund managers, I mean, are they taking money out of emerging markets? Are they taking money out of the Middle East in response to recent events? You know, we have heard that some hedge funds have been uh, liquidating investments in the region. Uh, we heard that from one of the prime brokers. There was a, you know, a number of conferences conference calls yesterday about Egypt. As far as our funds are concerned, no. I mean, we have very little exposure uh, when it comes to Africa and the Middle East. Most of our exposure would be in uh, mining companies in South Africa and things of that nature. So for us, it hasn't been an issue. I mean, our funds aren't that exposed, but I think a lot of the prime brokers in the region feel is that you will see money that's not dedicated to MENA, you know, a Middle East, Northern Africa funds. Money that's not dedicated to the region will probably start to come out. So what else are fund managers telling you about the investing climate right now? Well, I think that they think coming into this year, they were very optimistic, I should say, about opportunities, uh, particularly in the equity markets. I think uh, general feeling was. In the U.S. or just globally? U.S. and globally. U.S. in particular, though. I think the general feeling is that the U.S. equity market should do well this year. Um, and I think a lot of people were in the up sort of 10 to 15 percent camp. A lot of good things happened uh, for the U.S. equity markets over the last few months. You had the uh, Bush tax uh, uh, decreases that were extended uh, by, the, uh, by the House last month. You have a lot of uh, cash on balance sheets, uh, about you know, $1.4 trillion. I know you were talking about M&A before here, but we feel a lot of that money should be spent. Uh, you have uh, Social Security tax that was de uh, decreased. So, so a there's a lot of, of these lot unknowns of just together. being resolved. I think that's right, yes. Nick, putting you on the spot here with a lot of breaking news this morning, but the EU aid fund may be authorized to buy new bonds from governments. That's one part of the world we haven't talked about yet. I mean, in 2010, the story was clearly Europe and the sovereign debt crisis. What does this mean as far as where you're putting your money? Well, I think, you know, we, we've had money in Europe. Uh, we were concerned about Europe last year like everyone else, but one of the best performing regions that we had from a hedged equity standpoint last year was in Europe. There was a lot to do in Europe, and there was a real dichotomy between the North and the South. If you were long, you know, pr uh, producers, uh, manufacturers in Germany, if you were long okay. Scandinavia, you did okay. If you were short Spanish banks, you also did okay. There were things to do on both sides. Um, I think that that's probably going to continue in Europe this year. We think that uh, a lot of our European managers also we're buying crossover stocks, meaning stocks that can earn outside of Europe in, and earn money in the emerging markets. Uh, we made, uh, I think. So that's know, a safer play than just investing directly in EMS. It's in a safer, safer play than, than investing in those areas where the central banks are raising rates because they have inflationary problems. And so yeah. we still like that uh, as a bet for 2011. Yeah, we would have thought that uh, inflation would have been the main theme for emerging markets this year. We have since seen otherwise uh, as far as what's going on in Egypt. Nick DeMonaco, thanks very much.